All uh, right, now we're going to talk about completing the square. Okay, so completing the square basically allows you to find the vertex, which in a parabola is either the minimum or the maximum point. The first thing we do is we take out the number that's in front, so the one half from the first two terms, and we would get 12x for the other term, and we leave some space, and we can leave the minus one on the other side. So, and we'll leave this equal to zero. Now what we do is we take the middle term, so we take 12, we divide it by two, and then we square it. So 12 over two is just six, so six gets squared, and we add 36, but we also have to subtract 36 because this would sum to zero, so it works. And the reason we're doing this is so that we can create a perfect square. So now to get this minus 36 outside, we would multiply by the one half that's on the front and we would get minus 18. So now I'm just gonna make another page. We can collect our terms and we'll have one half x squared plus 12 x plus 36 that we're trying to factor minus 19 equals zero. And this we can factor by just taking the middle term and dividing it by two, so x plus six and that gets squared. Minus 19 is equal to zero. So this tells us that the vertex of the parabola is going to be at minus six comma minus 19. So basically the parabola, if you were to kind of draw it, a rough sketch, would be something like this with a stretch of one half. You can also solve for the x value with completing the square by moving the 19 over and then solving for x by multiplying by two, square rooting, and then subtracting by six. So now let's try this example for completing the square. So again, first thing I'm gonna do, factor out the number in front of the x squared, and I'll get x squared plus three x. We only need to do it for the first two. Leave the minus three over four outside. Take the middle term, so three divided by two, and then square it. So three over two squared will be nine over four, and we also have to subtract nine over four. To get rid of the nine over four on the inside, we would multiply by the number on the outside, which is the minus three. So therefore we can say that that's going to be plus 27 over four and that's canceled. So now we have minus three x squared plus three x plus nine over four. And then this minus three over four plus 27 over four, we can just simplify to be minus or uh, plus 24 over four, which is just six. Now the last step is going to be just taking this and then factoring it, and that's a perfect square, so we can just take the middle term and divide it by two. So it'd be x plus three over two squared plus six. So the vertex would be at minus three over two comma six. And the parabola would basically look like this and it would go down and if you needed to solve for like where the roots are then you can just do like minus 3 x plus 3 over 2 squared plus 6 is equal to 0 so make this minus 6 by subtracting 6 on both sides and then divide by the minus 3 so therefore you would basically have x plus three over two squared equals two, and then you would square root it to get rid of the square root. So then it would be like x plus three over two is equal to square root two, and then last step would be to subtract minus three over two to get for what our x would be. And you can do that, and you'll get plus or minus when you do the square root, so therefore you'll have the 
the both of them. Okay. Let's try this one. So in this one, I'm going to subtract a 3x on both sides. So just make it minus 2x squared plus or er, minus 3x plus 7 equals 0. And then now I'm going to factor out a minus 2 from the first two terms. And then I'm going to uh, take this and divide it by 2. So it become minus 3 over 2 divided by 2, which is basically just going to become uh, here, multiply by 1 over 2. So that's basically going to be minus 3 over 4. And then I take that and then I square it. So that's going to be squared. And I will get positive 9 over 16 and also negative 9 over 16. And then to bring this on the outside, multiply by a minus 2, and it would be plus 18 over 16. And I'm just going to create some another page. And then I'm going to basically just write this out. And again, we're going to take this middle term and we're going to divide it by 2. So it would be like x and then minus 3 over 4 squared uh, plus, and then this I'm just going to put into my calculator and simplify it, but you could also make it the common denominator and then do it that way. But this is just going to be 8.125. So therefore the vertex of the parabola is going to be at 3 over 4 comma 8.125 so on a graph that would look like just kind of like this and it's going to go down okay i hope that was helpful take care